Hey guys, and welcome back to Clanad. So, let's just jump right back in. Home remains, and it's already afternoon, or after school. Blah. Sunahara appears as the time for students go to go home comes... Okay, okay, I am reading this all wrong. Give me a second. Here we go. <clears throat> Finally, the time has come. Your hair is all messed up. What kind of training did you go to? I hung my lungs, er, not my lungs, I hung my legs on an iron rod and did sit-ups. There are no clubs that do that kind of rigorous training. Finally, I can feel my body moving. I see, you were sleeping in a sphincter and you have just woken up. Yeah, I'm all riled up now. Come close and you'll be in danger, boy. So he's an asshole who's going to be strangled to death. I'm all set, let's go. What do you want now? Calling me to this place. We are together with Tomoyo at the unpopular hall in this old school building. Uh, this guy here is my friend Sunahara. Please spend a little time and listen to his story. He wants to tell you his true feelings. Don't make it sound like I'm confessing! Hmm? You really got me this morning. I didn't do anything. You started it, all of it. That doesn't matter. What matters are the results. Is he an idiot? Yep. Stop agreeing with each other! Calm down, Sinahara. Breathe deeply. <sighs> hey, who are you trying to confuse? Darn it! My lines are all messed up now! Fine, I underestimated you before, but now it's different! You don't get it, do you? I'm in a completely different league! And I can show you that in no time. So stop it. Sunohara is being warned by a junior. I'm being underestimated. Is he being, or isn't he being unreasonable? Especially after that last beating. Well, listen, as you say, or it's as you say, Tomoyo. What? I just haven't been on the mound for so long. Even the best pitcher will get hit. Sunohara, that's a really weird metaphor. Just like Inatsu in his glory days, pitching strikeout after strikeout in the er, in the Japan series. That's my fighting style. Stop it! I can't even follow anymore. Uh, what is he trying to say? Tomoyo looks at me with a pained face. Sorry, but I don't know this guy. Yes, you do. Anyway, don't look away when a person is talking to you. Your speech is too long. I'll just get to the point. In short. It's just that I underestimated you before. Isn't that what you said a while ago? Huh? That's fine, I'll say whatever I want, or whatever I want to say it. Sorry, I've seen a lot of people like you, and it always ends the same way. I won't talk trash about you, so stop it now. Or is it? You won't be satisfied until you're unable to come to school anymore. I wonder if he can say anything in this situation. He's starting, or she's starting to lose her composure and her patience. <laughs> but Sunahara has come this far and he won't back down. I wonder which one of us will be the one who won't come to school. That'll be you. Don't answer that. Hey, you, outsider. It seems that she's talking to me. Don't step in, all right? This is legitimate self-defense. Sure, I'll watch. All right, then. Prepare yourself. <laughs> you sure have confidence. How would you like to end this? Would you like to fly for a while? So, or sounds fun. I'm fine with that, so leave it to me. As if you can do that. Stop nitpicking, just start it. Yeah. She suddenly charges towards Sunahara. Eh? Damn it! Sunahara makes a jab. She dodges and stops right in front of him. She gathers her strength and unleashes a flurry of kicks. Whoa, he's flying, he's flying. Outsider, the dust shoot. What? Oh, uh, yeah. I quickly opened the lid to the dust chute that was attached to the corridor wall. Her last kick made Sunahara plunge into the open hole head first. Ah, help me! Sure, relax your shoulders. He's sliding in moment by moment. You must be joking. Help me, Okazaki. His body is inside the corridor wall. It looks as if the lower part of his body is coming out of the wall. It's kind of weird. 
<laughs> He's hanging by his feet. You'll fall if you move these, so what'll you do? You want to fall? Okay, I understand. I didn't even reply! Tomoyo suddenly tips him with her finger. Won't you forgive me? Uh, ah! His scream echoes into the distance. She suddenly goes stiff. This is bad. He he might have died. Nah, if it's him, he'll be fine. I give her a thumbs up as I respond. I see. I'm relieved then. I make no guarantees, though. <laughs> we laugh together as if we're in a kind of drama. Well, he'll surely learn after this. I hate to disappoint you, but he won't. He's just that kind of guy. That's a problem, then. Please say something to stop... Or, please say something to him so he'll stop. You're assuming he listens to what I say. Isn't he your friend? I don't know. I wonder about that. It's just that it's fun watching him run wild. So it means that this will still continue. Until he gives up. I guess I've gotten myself into a lot of trouble. Well, if you're really bothered, I'll tell him. I'm already bothered. You don't seem too troubled to me. <sighs> Worrying about having sweat, she tugs her turtleneck shirt. Taking a breath, she lets go of it. But, you know, when I look at both of you, I feel... nostalgic. Thinking that something absurd is alright. Weren't you part of it, too? Moreover, it's rumored that you've done far worse things in the past. I wonder if you're just barely controlling yourself right now. If you have any conscience at all, please make him a stop. If I feel like it. Yeah, I'll hope for that. She says that and leaves. Normally, a dust shoot should be made so people cannot get in. Didn't you pop your joints? Like that would make me go in. Anyway, Okazaki. He looks seriously. Or he looks serious. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is it? She's incredibly strong. Duh, I've known that for a while. This is just more proof of the legendary girl's existence. No way! You still don't believe it? There are no girls stronger than guys. You've just made yourself an enemy of all the women in this nation. But you saw it too, right? Well, I have the same feeling about that Tomoyo. You see? It doesn't make sense. Could it be that... What is it? She's actually a guy? I'm really worried for your life now. Why? Try saying that in front of her. I guess he's imagining what will happen. He's flying through the sky. He's being cremated for his funeral. No, oh, let's forget about that. You don't like ashes? As if I'd imagine that far. Just until the part where I jump out of the casket. Wouldn't that mean that you that you revived? You're doing the impossible. Eh, yeah, I wonder. Just stay still and burn. Who cares about that? Anyway, I'll check it out. Checking whether you can revive from ash? Who would check that? I meant if she's a guy. She? You mean Tomoyo? Yeah. How will you do it? Oh, there are plenty of ways. So I'll just check it out until I know the truth. Sunahara still hasn't realized it. You're on the path of becoming a pervert. I heard you. Pretend you didn't hear what I just told you. It's more fun that way. Who would, Im who would imitate a pervert? This will work out well. Well then, be careful. I look forward to your report. Don't look down on me. I'd never, or I'd have never thought it was this easy to get someone to say something like that. Anyway, all that's left is to give him a little nudge. I stand towards Sunahara and show him a thumbs up. Good let. I will pray for this pervert. I say that clearly. Yeah. Sunahara took it as good luck. And now it's April 17th. At the bottom of the slope. Furukawa is there again, standing still. Good morning. Yes, good morning to you too. What are you doing here again? I was waiting for you, Okazaki-san. 
Waiting? Yeah, I thought I'd be going to school with you from now on. Uh-huh. If it bothers you, well, I won't. Well, aren't you here pretty early? Climbing up this hill? That might be true. I look up at the school gate. Climbing this hill. I wonder if she still believes that climbing this hill is brave or bravery. I guess it's not all right with you. Holding back her hair blown in, blown by the wind, she turns her gaze back to me. But you'll always be late if you wait for me every day. It's okay. Compared to not going, being late is much better. You have to go even if you're alone. Yeah, I'll do my best. Well, I don't really mind. To think that I can become someone's strength by just doing this sure feels like a luxury somehow. That's why I started walking. Let's go. Yeah! Hey, you're late! You're here earlier than me? Well, that can't be. This must be a dream. Let me try pinching you. Pinch your own cheek! If this was reality, it hurt, eh? It does hurt! Anyway, why aren't you here? Well, I'm here to cleanse myself of dishonor. Eh? Uh, which dishonor? You're making it sound as though I have many dishonors. Of course, I'm talking about being dishonored by losing to a woman. Ah, that one. Today, I'll prove that she's a man. So you came early for that? So how will you prove it? I'm going to ask her casual questions, and the answers will hit to me like, or that she's a male. Like... Like, for this time, I'm going to say, hey, let me, or lend me your shaver, you know? To a person like him, this seems like a casual question. Well, how do you plan to talk to her about that? It will just come out naturally. You just watch. Yeah, yeah, we'll go watch. Sunahara confidently struts out of the classroom. Oh, uh, well, Okazaki-kun. Pausing only to leave my bag behind, I go after Sunahara. Hmm, did someone just call me? Never mind that. As you can so blindingly see, I'm in a rush. Well, I didn't come here to pick a fight with you. What is it? Can we to or can we walk over there and talk? Tomoyo looks at me, asking, what is he up to? I reply, shrugging my shoulders. We don't need to walk, right? Let's talk here. Eh? Here? Oh, fine then. Well, say it quick. You know, this morning I, like, overslept, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Don't you find yourself totally out of character? So I thought of getting a shave, but the blade was broken and it so totally hurt. Oh. So sorry about this, but may I borrow your shaver? And why would I lend you one? Alright, gotcha! You heard it too, right, Okazaki? Yeah, I heard. What? What is this all about? Y the eye you said just now. I, s er, I said that, but what's so wrong about it? That means that you have a shaver with you, therefore... How on earth could I have a shaver? Eh? When I said I, I meant that I have no obligation to lend you any of my stuff. To begin with. To begin with, it's outrageous to ask that of a female. Self-defense. Lies! Yep, legitimate self-defense. Hey, don't agree with that. You wouldn't want to get on my nerves too much. I might just unconsciously punch you. Saying that, Tomoyo returns to the class. Your failed plan, or your plan failed, eh? Damn it! Sunahara never looked at the blackboard during class and kept mumbling. Those surprisingly big breasts of hers, they're, de they're, they're definitely fake. You were thinking about that? There's definitely something to it. And? I know, I'll borrow her breasts. If I say that, she'll definitely say here without even thinking. Anyway, how will you tell her you want to borrow her breasts? Well, there are plenty of ways to do that. Do you really need a way to do that? Alright, let's go. Ah, fine. Go along. 
Sunahara leaves the room, giggling and smirking. He's come this far. I guess I'll go with him. I follow behind him. Excuse me, Okazaki-kun! Hmm? I guess it's nothing. You're really persistent. No, I won't do anything this time. I just came to see you. I don't believe you. Cause Tomoya chan or Tomoyo chan's like surprisingly beautiful. Don't say that when you really or when you don't really think so. Not at all. You're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, it's this late. The next lesson is about to start. Yeah, you had better return quick. Ah! Damn it, I forgot the breasts required for the next lesson. Tomoyo, let me borrow your breasts. Why? Alright, gotcha! Asking me why means that you can lend me your breasts. That means that you can take them off. There's no way I can possibly remove them. Huh? To begin with? To begin with? You think there's a lesson that uses breasts? Oh my god. <laughs> legitimate or legitimate self-defense. Yeah. Aren't you two such a friendly duo? Damn it! I couldn't find any insults to spit out. Well, that's because she's a girl. Well, I'll show her after ne or after the next break. I'm looking forward to that. After all, you always spin around in midair. Sunohara. Hmm? Have a good lunch and being a nice pervert. Right! Third period is over. Hey, the break time you've been waiting for is here. <laughs> so it's already break time. I guess I'll stay here and take the lesson. Well, since all you did was let her kick you. You're wrong, Okazaki! The, s er, the sun is my witness, I dodged them all! Stop telling big lies when the only thing you did was fly away spectacularly. So fussy! Huh? Well, I'll shut up. Fine. So, are you giving up now? No, I still haven't gotten back my honor. I'll definitely prove that Tomoyo is a guy. Have you thought of your next plan? <laughs> of course. What do you think of my hours or what do you think my hours of lessons are for? They're for studying. Well, then here's the problem. If she's a guy, there's got to be something she'll refuse. What do you think it is? Who knows, I can't guess. It's so simple, but you don't get it? Uh, you're not a real man, dude. It's fine to be a fake. The answer is going to the toilet together. After the fight, our friendship will be secure. That's how pretty boys act. If she's a guy, she won't refuse to go in there with me. I'd refuse it, though. Alright, let's go! Yep, let's go. Sunahara leaves the room as he stretches his shoulder in circles. I guess I'll go witness his stupidity. I follow behind him. Uh, uh um, Okazaki-kun? Hmm? I guess it's nothing. Didn't I tell you guys to stop this already? Nope, this time it's different. You always say that, but it always ends up the same. This, er, this time it's different! This time it's... All of a sudden, Tsunahara jumps at Tomoyo. A kick by Tomoyo. Ah! Why is it in English? He hits the wall hard. Are you alright? I guess I accidentally kicked you too hard. You're probably hurt, so stop already. Huh. He spits out blood and phlegm and slowly gets back up. <laughs> Come with me for a moment, Tomoyo. What is it now? Nothing, just follow me there. Come on! Sunahara starts walking. Stubborn fellow. Walking behind is Tomoyo. They walk straight for a moment, then turn ar around a corner. In front are the gents. Far away, Sunahara is doing revolutions. What the hell are you guys trying to pull? They return, Sunahara being dragged along, looking as ragged as your average house cloth. There should be a limit to your extreme actions, bringing me to the men's room. There's a limit to your sexual harassment. I believe he wants to check something. Check what? 
check if you're a girl. I see. This is the first time someone said such humiliating words to me. I'm not involved in this. It's he who wants to check that. You sound as if you don't want to know either. Why would I want to know? She's obviously a girl to begin with. But you said look, good latch. Huh? Uh, good latch? It's not good luck? That's right. It means your pervertedness is what I was hoping to see from the start. You tricked me! Well, too bad. But isn't it about time you understood? I look at the speechless Tomoyo. You don't buy that. Huh? Then checking it will do, right? Come. She grabs my hand. But this is all the time that I have for this episode before things get fucking weird. So, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye